Now loading. Get to continue this just for a bit. I'm not gonna overdo it, but I figured I'll squeeze it in. Just have to be patient. The first load's usually the one that takes the longest. Okay, there we go. Hey, Nick, though, how's it going? Alright, so I do remember what I was doing. Um, it's going to rain tomorrow. The traveling merchant is in town. Pierre's birthday. Uh, let's just see what he likes. Good, good, you've been here from the beginning. Oh, <laughs> error not. Uh, he like. I guess I can give him a daffodil. He likes it. There's fl fried cl calamari, but I don't really have the capability of making that. So, you like the cat? Beans is cute. It yeah, it's a custom model for beans. So. You can pick from a wide variety with the mod. So hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. These have four days. This has, this is ready to harvest. This has one day. That's not going to make it. That's not going to make it either. So I don't have to, I can go upgrade. I can go upgrade this if I want. I just need the copper. Interesting. Because it's raining tomorrow, so... What else does the mod do? I mean, it's a, it's a collection of mods, so... Um, the main one is the one that adds all the extra content, but then... There's a few other ones that, um, change the models of things, so like the model of your house, the model of kitchen appliances, and the textures used in the kitchen. The cat, the farm animals, um, they're all separate mods. So. I mean, yeah, cat basically gave me, like, a, a list of stuff she used. So. I just went with that and then picked um, the style that I wanted, more or less. Because she, she has played uh, with modded Stardew and helped me set it up, so it was very much appreciated. Um... Right, so, I mean, I should just water the ones that are going to make it. Except these two, like, these two should always be watered. I mean, these might make it, I'm not sure. I mean, a lot of the mods are pretty simple, they're just, uh... Texture mods for the most part, but this one, Stardew Valley Expanded, adds extra NPCs and a bunch of other stuff. But it looks like it's under development, as there are parts that lead me to believe that they're still working on it. So, yeah. Yeah, the pink haired girl, the Judge of Mart people that you can interact with, um,. There's quite a few. I mean, this whole thing is worth another run anyway, and... I mean, tis what I do during the holidays here, so...
It's a great game. Yeah, it's up there for me in terms of time spent and how much I like it. Garlic. Okay. Um, just out of interest, how much is, does it cost to upgrade the watering can? It's 2,000, so I can afford the bean, and um, I think I'm going to go with the coffee bean, and then upgrade the watering can, and that's the money spent. It would have been nice to get a coop, but I think this is going to provide a lot more income sooner. And I guess the good news is, okay, I can use speed grow on it too. And just do that. There we go. I think this is the wise choice. Um, now I'm gonna go and just straight up purchase a piece of ore from him. I'm not gonna mess around, I don't think. Like, I just need one. It shouldn't cost much. And then go back, smelt it, and then come back. Because otherwise, like, I'm going to potentially miss giving him the tool to upgrade. Oh, wait, he can't upgrade on Fridays. I don't think he's there on Fridays. I think I'm fucked either way. Okay. Oh. I get the feeling he's not going to be here, which... I mean, I can still set it to upgrade tomorrow. It'll still make it in time, it's just... Oh no, he's here, good. Okay, um... Yeah, so that's... See, that's no biggie. I can just do that. I just have to be back by four. And I have enough for seeds for the next season, so that'll work out fine. Hello, Jody. The food- yeah, yeah, okay, you've said that before. I'm not reading them as much as they're starting to get repetitive. Bah, who cares about reading? And then this will let me spend less energy. They won't let me go through the trash. I want to dive through the dumpster, I won't, they won't let me. Oh. Hold on, let's do that. Okay, uh, upgrade tool. Wait, couple watering can, okay. Um. I think I'm gonna try my luck at this fishing, and then tomorrow I'll go in the mines.
Okay, so, I mean, that worked out. Coffee and, uh, an upgrading watering can. Oh, whoops. Now to catch these fish. Hopefully. Oh, this is... The fuck? What is this? It's not moving. It's not moving at all. Minnow. <laughs> it's not worth much. It's a tiny fish. Lazy fish? I mean, it's a baby. Something about a baby. <laughs> well, where are the expensive fish? I don't want these. These aren't worth anything. Okay, that's better. I'm not being greedy. Because I know this fish is a dick. Oh my god, this is so exhausting. <laughs> okay. Butterfish. There's an expensive fish. Okay, this is already worth it. Do I think they put them in there just to mess with me? I mean, I guess it's to balance out the fact that these fish are worth- Look at this, that's worth 421, like... Uh, this is- this is dumb, like, these fish are way too good. They shouldn't be worth this amount. If I catch eight of them, I've made back more or less um, what I spent to up to get the coffee bean. I guess that's the thing. It's it's a bit of luck because it's not guaranteed that I'll land it, but.
This has already been worth the trip. Like, I, I, I've made what I would have made going to the ocean or something. Like, I get that these fish are tricky to catch, but I'm not bad at it. And this is all about laws. Like, once I get laws, this, this is a no-brainer. Like, this is the spot to make money. With bait and laws. Just have to be patient, that's all. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, hey, if I can make back the cost of my... One of my upgrades, that's great. Nice, nice. Hey, there you go, doggo. And, dude, and a gold bar. Can't ask for more than that. That's okay. This is interesting. Let me just say something here because I leveled up. What level does legend require? Legend requires level 10 fishing. Okay, but then trout soup gives you. Plus one to fishing. Okay, so yeah, it's not going to be able to do it. But yeah, so look at look at this. It's like the stack would sell for one thousand two hundred. So that's almost two grand here. I've I, I've made back the money that I spent on the pickaxe with this already. This is the thing about mods, is sometimes they, they don't know how to balance things, or they just make it too 
good on purpose. Like, this is nuts. I mean, okay, these, they're not worth anything, but... I've made over two grand here. more. This is the spot to fish. I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere else. Other than to just catch them to fill in their entries. I think I still need to get a sunfish, so... I might do that tomorrow. Or on the last day. Dude, this is way too strong. I just realized I'm gonna have enough money for a coop tomorrow. Okay, so that the dogfish is hard to catch. Because that's 100% up to the first jump. If it jumps and then goes back down immediately, you're gonna lose it. But other than that... The butterfish is pretty straightforward to catch. I think they need to add at least three more fish here. Different fish, because this is this is too good. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Um, I need to go. I can't. It's midnight. I'll make it in time. Looking hard, are we? Oh yeah, I'm being greedy. You better believe it. As long as I'm in bed in 30 seconds, it's fine.
I'll be fine. I, I know I know what I'm capable of. Um, and one. Okay. See, we're fine. Fine. Time to spare. Okay, I need to look at this progression tree. Uh, Stardew. I always forget. We want Tyler. Okay. I'm sorry, three three point seven K like this early. No. See that's that's way too strong. Okay, it's raining, so I can... <laughs> yeah, fish OP, right? Okay, that goes to Gunther. That goes to Gunther. I forgot about the birth- oh no I didn't, I did the birthday. Today's Emily's birthday, which you can give her that. It takes- oh, but he can't process Geos because he's working on his thing, because heaven forbid he multitasks. <laughs> um. Rice. And there we go. Okay, let's do the quick harvest. Okay, so what do we need for Coop? Uh, 4,000 gold, which we have. 300 wood, which we don't have. 100 stones. So we need to get the, the wood, which I guess that's going to be tricky. I can always buy it, but for now, let's just try and acquire it naturally. Okay, 100 stone. Okay, another thing to give. I don't think it's going to be that hard. Um, let me put this here so that I can see it. Okay, that's very useful. Because now I can do this. And replenish energy like this. See? Calculated.
down, didn't give me a save. But this should do it. Level up. Okay, uh, let's craft another snack. And I'll put it just at the front for now. I'm not really planning where to put it. The rain doesn't stop me from getting the job done. Although soggy wood isn't a joy to work with. Okay. Uh, construct farm buildings. Coop. I'm just gonna put it here, I think, for now. Although, ooh. It's not bad to have the pond. Like, maybe I can give it more consideration and put it here. I think here, because then I can incorporate the pond as part of the coop, and then when I get ducks, they can have the pond. Yeah, I'm putting it there. No, I mean, I'm thinking ahead, like, the ducks will have a pond, and it'll be nice. Okay, Emily's indoors. If I build a fence around it, it'll look nice. Just right now, I know it's a bit of uh, out of place. Uh, I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. You're being childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of this work in this house, and you know it. Oh, it's that new farm boy. He has a name, you know. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. <sighs> I'm really sorry to involve you in this, Wario. Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushions. It's only because I cleaned them last week. Eh, stop whining and just clean it, eh? Um, yeah. Can you imagine, like, this being your one weekly job? But this is the answer. Ugh. <sighs> Life would be good if all you have to do is just clean under the cushions. Alright, you win. I guess this can be my job every week. Then, there won't be any reason to argue over it. Thanks, Warrior. That was a great solution. Haley is a bimbo. But you know what? Here's the thing. As much as she acts that way... Um, as far as presents, as far as presents go, think about her favorite stuff. Her favorite stuff is a sunflower and a coconut, like very simple things. Nothing super expensive. It's pretty modest, actually. Okay, chicken. Diamond. Earth crystal. We already got this. I forgot to give Emily her, her present. Oh, nice. Good. Okay. No, but she doesn't... She doesn't like anything expensive at all. I 
I mean, I don't know. I thought Bimbo and Gold Digger kind of go hand in hand, don't they? Happy birthday. Okay, it never rains in the Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. Okay. I mean, I guess I can give her. For me? Thank you. I'm feeling an urge to go shopping. I wish there was a mall here. Bingo, Bimbo is pretty but simple, but not very smart. Right. Um, I'm gonna quickly go get... Trout soup. Just to help empower the fish. Okay, well, there's something else I can go turn in. She's also the easiest one to get. Just give her a daffodil every week and yeah. Get to gold standard pretty quickly. Who, Haley? Yeah. I mean, look. All I've done is give her daffodils and she's up there. I mean, Emily just caught up, but that's only because... Gave her something she really loves on her birthday. Oops. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I thought I was going to, but I'm not going to. Leia's also pretty straightforward as well. Okay, that was lucky. I just hung on to that, but it's not over yet. This fish is so annoying. It's, it's too erratic, it's movement. It's like a legendary fish. Most of them are easiest remembering that's hard. But what I mean by easy is just... foraging and you don't have to give up an expensive item. That's what I mean. Like, Haley, it's a sunflower and a, and a coconut. <laughs> a coconut you can just go find in the desert on the ground. And a sec a close second best is uh, a daffodil, which is something you just find on the ground. I guess with this money I'm going to upgrade the fishing rod. And then be set. Oh, you can catch shads here as well. I think I just caught a quality shad. And I can go put it in the bundle, so that's nice. Oh, okay. 
easy. Um, consume soup. I suppose it adds these to the mix as well, which is good. Un unbelievable. <laughs> Got in so much gold from... from this. I'm not even anywhere close to gold in the mines. Oh, this spot is great. Good, another doggo. So when it's raining, this is just straight up the best fishing spot. I just need a trap bobber, so then they don't get away that quickly and we're sold. Oh, you stupid fish. That was really unlucky. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm just mining this here as well. Getting ore. I feel like fishing shouldn't give you ore, I don't know. Oh, dick. I just miss being able to play music on stream. It's the one thing that would be great. But I guess in the name of in the name of a playthrough I have to do this. This is why there's no recorded playthroughs of this for me. Because I was always playing music. It's just too much of pain to deal with, honestly. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Got it, got it. Not gonna lose it. Okay. Hello, Monster Lappin. How's it going? Oh, 
Yeah. I haven't seen many butterfish though. I guess maybe when it's rainy, it does vary this up a bit more. It's still worth it. Like, this is still the best fishing spot, I think. Going well, you've never seen the modded version, so you thought you'd pop in. Oh, all good. Uh, this is running a particular mod called Stardew Expanded, but it also has a bunch of other mods that uh, change textures and models and stuff, so. It's a collection of mods, but this extra content comes from one mod in particular. It's my first time playing with mods as well, so. I'm enjoying it so far. I think if they do an update to this, they need to make this bridge less strong. It's too good of a fishing spot. If you're not good at fishing, I, like, I guess you can not really take advantage of it because it's difficult, but if you're decent at it, you can make a lot of money here. Yeah, <laughs> unlucky. All right, tomorrow I'll, I'll just make sure that I've caught all the fish for the season, with the exception of Legend. I'm pretty sure I've been okay with that. I think I'm missing like one or two. I'll just go through the list and make sure I've got them. So, oops. Let me see how much money. Okay, so I mean the catfish definitely got me a lot of money. <laughs> this is why this is problematic. It's just... When it's not raining, you catch expensive fish. And when it is raining... You catch the rainfish, which, whilst not as, uh, as hard to catch and not as expensive, you can catch a lot of them, because it seems like it's only putting those fish in the pool. Um, I'm just going to take as much advantage of this as I can. I'm not going to drop off the bundle stuff. Okay, last one. Very, very good.
Money, money, money. Money. Amethyst to rub on my tooth. I don't think I have... What is it with Victor and rubbing weird stuff on his body? First it was the fish, and now it's a gemstone. Is that what rich people are? They just rub weird stuff on their body? Do I have- I'm not sure I have a catfish. I don't. I'm keeping one. <laughs> Am I- like, every single one of his quests has been, Hey, hey, I, I, I need this. I need to rub it on my body. Please go fetch me one. What's wrong with him? Chicken. I found the place for the chicken statue. Okay. Dude, that's that's crazy. From one day. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Swords, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish? Omelette. Such a simple dish, but often done incorrectly. A perfect omelette is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of gleaming egg. I'm going to show you my secret method. Oh. It doesn't say what it is. Yep, and now... I can probably go straight for the Iridium Rod. <laughs> it's got another 500 gold. Salad, okay. Mental. Um, okay, hang on. I think I need to move some of this stuff into a new chest. How are the beans doing? Okay, I've shipped 15, so I can hang on to these. I think I need to make a new chest. And just put food there. Uh, I guess for now I'll store them in here, but... Okay, final day, this traveling merchant, Robin's still building. I have to check on, uh... Okay, there we go. That'll do. Okay, I have to check on the spring fish, so let me just see. I'll go through the list. And I'll see what I need to get. Um, okay, fish. Anchovy, check. Sardine, check. Smallmouth bass, check. 
Catfish, check. Sunfish, check. Herring, check. Eel, check. Sardine, check. Shad, definitely. Flounder, check. Halibut, check. And that's it. Okay. Those are the ones that are exclusive to spring, so I've gotten everything for spring. Good. Okay, so let's take these with me. That's a Gunther thing that I haven't taken. Guess I just gotta make sure that like none of these get um taken out by mistake. I mean, that's the fish that I know of. I know that there's more from the mud. Uh, okay, more I could invert- I could double down on the coffee, and I think I'm going to. I think it would be a wise move. I'll put the pine tar in here because I don't have space. Uh, okay. Rapid grow. And I'll be back because I need to get my watering can. Okay. Oh, wait. It's New Week. I should visit Sophia. You know what? I reckon if I give a topaz, she'll like it. That just occurred to me. That's probably better. Because it's a universal like, so it should be okay. Good timing. Here you go. You're sweet, thanks. <laughs> Hi, Warrior. Spring is ending soon. So much to do, I'll have a lot of work on my plate. Okay, well. I was expecting a different reaction. Maybe it's the same level. I'm taking a break from my chores today. Okay. Oh, crap. I need one of these. But I think these I can catch any time, even next season. It's not... It didn't come up in the exclusive list, so that's fine. Robin will finish the building in two days. Alright, so she'll be going for a while. Yeah. 
Okay. This worked out well. <laughs> really? Okay, sell the spare ones. Okay. I suppose I should do this properly. I'm just thinking how the colors are going to be arranged. For now. I don't know why I'm grabbing that. Ah, I grabbed it. <laughs> Sorry, right, I have room. Okay. I think that's all I was gonna do. I'll try and get as much money as I can. Oh, wait, 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 I need to go get... Get some food for today. Assuming he's there, I should probably check. He is there, alright. And then tomorrow onwards I can focus on summer. It's just I want to get money <laughs> from that bridge. Hello, I hope your new farming life is panning out as you'd hoped. Okay, so I'm just going to go straight for that rod. Seaweed salad. Oh, that's new. Expensive, but new. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just do that. I might just grab one of these, because then that'll accelerate the bundle. It's not that expensive, and yeah, we can set it up at home. Okay. It's not bad, it's half my day, it's fine. 
I'll be able to make a couple grand out of this. Hopefully. <laughs> Here we go. It's okay. <laughs> Got it. Delicious butter. Oh, come on. <laughs> I wonder, I'm, you know, I'm curious what happens if I put one of these in a pond. I should probably do that and see what they give. Are they going to give butter? No. That would be stupid. What would the, what would the puppy fish give? Ugh, that's so hard to catch. Oh, <laughs> I know what this is. Might be specific times for them, perhaps. I just hate the idea of them giving out row. I mean, not so much the uh, the butterfish, but. The dogfish giving out row. Oh, for one, you can catch them? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I already have one spare, so I can put it in a pond. I did hang on to one of each. This is, it's just straight up, you gotta hope that it doesn't nosedive right away. There we go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so weird, but... It's fine.
Oh, this one might cost me. No, okay, hang on. This one's so annoying. It's so, it's so annoying when it does that. If I have any extra energy at the end of the day, I'll just cut a tree or something. Okay. Another one. I've already made a thousand of this easily. How am I, how was I supposed to keep up with that? Hey, Lolo, guys. Thank you so much for the bits. How's it going, dude? Appreciate it. It went, it went up, down, and then up again instantly. There was no, there was no way. There was no way. Oh. This guy has so much focus. Oh, don't you, don't you dare. Okay. Hey, you got the brothers now. You got both Mario and Luigi. Um, doing good, good to hear. I'm doing well, just enjoying my break. Work's wrapped up for the year, so... Don't have to worry about getting up early for a while. Yeah, playing this again, because uh, it's like tradition here to play it during Christmas. And uh, I'm checking out mods for the first time, so... I should stop taking advantage of this area. This is... It's gonna trivialize the difficulty a little bit, I think. Just a tad. Like what? Um, that's 2,100 I've made. 2,600 with the puppy fish. It's just... It's ridiculous. At this point in the game, that's huge. Like, later, of course, you can eclipse it with other stuff, but... In the first season, making that much in one day is, is massive. I wish I would have known this sooner, to be honest. I would have... I would have come here more often, but oh well. It's fine... Yeah. <laughs> 
have to, I have to strain my eyes here because I have to keep them open and focused. Okay, got it. You have a day off school, so I was streaming and figured why not watch. Nice. It's always good to have a day off. Got anything planned or just gonna chill? Okay, I can do two more casts before I have to go. Oh, I missed. I have to leave this bridge at midnight, and then I'll make it home in time. Oh, come on, no. Oh, oh, lost it. Damn it. It's okay. <laughs> Can't win them all. Alright, let's get home. Don't have any plans? That's fine. You have the day off because of a snowstorm, so you won't be doing much. Ah, that'll do it. It's okay, I mean... People don't value, d like, just being able to do nothing. I feel like it's such an underrated thing. Yes, I'm being greedy again. Okay, so... Cool. Three... 3,000 made in one day. Okay, let me set this up so that... Please, out of the way. I got time. Alright. There we go. <laughs> You're at work now, don't know the feeling. I can relate to that. I, I work a lot as well. Like, they, they keep telling me to take more time off, but it's one of those things where... That's all well and good, but they also require me to be there. But I do have three weeks off for Christmas, because that's, like, the easiest time to take off. Stuff winds down. Okay. Hi, Warrior. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know the empty cave there? A little ways to the west? Well, I have my way to turn it into something more useful for the both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local, local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment, and you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms, or fruit bats. The bats will leave fruit for you to collect. Mushrooms. Alright, I'll go set it up for you right now. Shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. Your job doesn't encourage you to take time off, but... We thankfully have unlimited paid sick leave, so that's nice to have. You'll have a week off for Christmas there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess they encourage time off because it's beneficial for the company. Because in Australia, you have um, annual leave and long service leave. And those are like rights, basically, that employees have. So it's one of those things that they don't want employees accumulating that stuff because as they get pay rises, that means that those benefits cost the company more. And when an employee quits, um, their annual leave slash long service leave gets paid out. 
So they encourage people to take time off. So then they don't accumulate a lot of hours. And, you know, if they stay at the company for, say, decades, then like the leave that they collected early on isn't worth more, more or less. That's interesting. The US would never. Yeah. The thing about Australia is here people get paid a wage that they can live off and we don't have to rely on tips. And so it's one thing that's kind of annoying me right now is just a lot of American companies are trying to trying to introduce tipping here in Australia, but it's like nah. Like, minimum wage here is pretty high. And then, yeah, all those aforementioned benefits as well. Your job would never let you take days off, let alone pay you much on your day off. Yeah, well... I don't know. It's basically full-time work that gives you those rights. There is casual and contract work, which doesn't guarantee those rights at all. And also, uh, employers are required to pay superannuation as well for full-time employees. So there's that as well, where part of your salary, or I should say salary package, goes towards superannuation. So then, you know, when you retire, you have money. Because leaving it in the hands of people sometimes doesn't work out. I don't know if I want to make all of this crops, but we'll see what, what I have. You work for one of the better companies, but it's still nothing like that. You have an office job, so it's nice not having to rely on tips, but you've worked a job like that before. I assume you say you hate the US work system. It's dumb. Yeah. I mean, one thing I learned recently was the concept of unemployment over there is different to what it is here. So unemployment here is you don't have a job and whilst you're looking for work, the government will support you. Whereas in over there, you can not have a job and then the government won't support you. Unemployment is basically what you get when you lose your job and then you only get it for X amount of time. How, how am I already out of energy? Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm doing the single thing. I'm an idiot. Also, that was lucky. Um, I should be doing that. I've wasted quite a bit of energy, but whatever. I'll just go buy something to eat. Okay, uh, let's just leave it at that for now. I have mixed seeds that I can plant. Star fruit. Let's get some fertilizer. And we'll make some more. I won't be able to do the whole lot, but... This should be good. Okay, uh, let's do... Okay, and one of these. You filed for unemployment when COVID hit and never received it. It's so hard to qualify for unemployment, which is ridiculous. Most people don't have a savings that also good on us. Yeah, 
and for COVID as well, um, state governments gave money to people that couldn't work during COVID because their industries were affected. Basically, yeah, like, um, like people that worked in hospitality in particular because all those places were closed here. I mean, we were the the most locked down city in the world, so. Yeah, I mean, I have relatives in LA and, you know, my dad's had the discussion with them quite a few times that if they worked as hard as they did in the US over here, they'd be much better off. But, you know, they have a life over there and that's understandable. Oh yeah, I have melon seeds. Okay, I have melon, gotta remember to plant melon. These will self do more. Let's get a variety. I know I saw a few wheat seeds. I think there's a bundle for this. Oh, Lola, guys, thanks for gifting that gift sub. Appreciate it a lot. I don't know, like five of each. Ah. I got 10 corn. Yeah, that's way too expensive for fertilizer. I'm not paying that. Pierre, you fool, trying to rip us off. Okay, I will go get food. Uh, I gotta make sure this isn't in the way, so... I don't- alright, fine, I'll put it there. I don't think this is gonna get in the way. I might have to build a second Scarecrow. Okay, uh, oh. Wait, do I need wood? No. I think it's just fiber and coal from memory. No. Wood as well. Okay, I need to go get energy. Do I have anything else to throw in the bundle while I'm at it? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. If you have a little extra money here and there, you like to give it to someone you like watching when you have the chance. Well, I really appreciate that a lot, dude. It does mean a lot. And I know, the time zone is, uh... Yeah. It sucks for me. <laughs> the east coast of Australia is just in the worst possible place time zone-wise. It's when it's the evening my time when I like to stream. Basically, it's uh, I the Americans have gone to sleep and pretty much only get the night owls. Europeans get up and then by the time people are around, it's like midnight, 1 a.m. here. So there's not a whole lot more that I get to stream before I should really get some sleep. But yeah, I do appreciate it. It's pretty validating when people do, uh... I mean, give money, but also their time as well. Just, like, hanging out. 
Ah, uh, hang on. I need food. Yeah, this is the weirdo that. So he's one of the new characters. He's he's a rich guy, and from what I've deduced so far, is he likes to hire people to fetch things to rub on his body. So far, he's asked for anchovy to put on his nose. And then Amethyst, I forgot where he said, but he wanted to rub it somewhere. So, that's what I've learned of Victor so far. Oh yeah, and he wants a butler. So... Add it. Can, can, can you... <laughs> Victor! Uh... No, I should get two. Currently, it is 1.19 in the morning, so, you know. I need to... I need to try and do streaming earlier. Pretty much, if you want to be successful as a streamer in Australia on the East Coast, you have to get up at, like, 6 in the morning, and then you stop streaming at, like, 2 p.m. But I've, I've just never been a morning person. Because that would line up with, like, the US primetime and Europeans, it would be their night time. So everyone's around, that's, like, the key time to stream is, like... Starting at 4 a.m. my time, and then it ends at, like, roughly 2 p.m. my time. Um, if I lived on the west coast of Australia, it would be a bit easier, because then it would be a lot earlier, but yeah. I don't want to live on the west coast of Australia. <laughs> it's... I went there once, and it's really nice, it's kinda... I think it would be good to go retire there, but... I mean, it's pretty quiet at night in the main capital city. And, uh... Things were a lot expensive there compared to here, like... Because they do a lot of mining over there, so I guess they just charge more because people make more, I don't know. But, like, coffee, uh, here in Melbourne, it's, like, I can't get that, can I? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, can I do this? No. Okay. Something that I learned last time I played this is some of these bushes you can cut down and get out of the way. Not all of them. <laughs> Thank you for the bits again. Yeah, coffee was like, it's like, uh, it can range from three to five dollars here. Over there, I didn't see anything below five dollars. I mean, maybe because I was in the city, but I mean, the pricing that I went with is in the city as well, so I don't know. I've always been a night owl, like, ever since I was a little kid. Okay, I think I have enough for a scarecrow now. Okay, so this mod is neat because it lets me do this. So I can see. That, it should go here, roughly. Yeah, okay. So that'll, that'll cover us. I'm just going to make sure that nothing potentially destroys the Scarecrow. Okay. Um, i got to keep going.
You think it's crazy how prices vary so much. You move two hours away from home for a job. Same state and everything, and the cost of living here is much higher. Yeah, I've, I've heard that, actually, like... It fluctuates quite a bit, which is surprising. Like, I, one of the regular here lives in Portland, in Oregon, and she was sharing, like, takeaway that she got once, and how much it cost her, and it's just insane. <laughs> just the price of it. I was, I was shocked. I was like, man. Even when you take account, into account, like, conversion and, and all that. I could get two of the same meals that she got delivered for the price of what she paid. And I, I always thought Australia was expensive when it came to that stuff, but apparently not food. Okay, uh, I think we're all set up. Right? Let me just... Because I don't have any more energy. I think what I'll do is I'll go down to the bar and say hi to people. Since there's a little bit of time left in the day. This is the one thing I always get told about is just... People hate that I, I go to bed at like 1am <laughs> in this game. But, I mean, it's just making the most of a day, doing everything I can. Okay. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. My father is also a blacksmith. My grandfather was a blacksmith as well. I bet you can't guess what my great-grandfather was. How'd you know? Yeah, well... Okay, Shane's still not friendly to me. Haley is a picky eater. It's so hard to cook for her. Okay. Nothing like a sip of the old good stuff. Wait, is that oh no, it's oh sip of the good stuff to warm these old bones. If I butcher the reading, I apologize, but you have to appreciate it's like 1.30 almost in the morning. And so my reading comprehension is has gone out the window for a few hours. So I will butcher the English quite a bit. No, come on, I can still do something. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna go cut down a tree. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Find, find a tree, cut it down. Okay. Just clear up some random junk along the path, and that'll that'll be good. I need to think how I'm going to spend tomorrow. Maybe I should go try and progress in the mines a bit more. Um... What about... Yeah, I could make one of those. Okay, I'll think about it. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> pet the cat, whoops. What did I just earn? Oh, build a coop, right. Ah, oh, I forgot the crab pot. Oh, no. 
Okay, it's okay. It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations, we're impressed with your quick progress. To our valued Jojo Mark customers, please be advised that the landslide blockage near the railroad will be cleared using explosives tomorrow. Please avoid the area in case of falling rocks. Jojo Co. is not responsible for any damage incurred to people or property in the vicinity. <laughs> what do you mean? That's not how that works. Hey, I'm going to blow something up. If someone gets in the way, it's not my fault. Even if it's a fixed structure. Oh, I didn't put something here. Well, what did I even do? Oh, the melons. Alright, whatever. I kind of ruined yesterday. I think that's what I forgot to do. It's fine. I'll just plant more there today. That's one of the new areas, so that'll be cool to see what that is, finally. Some woman... what's her name? Susan is trapped there. So we'll get to meet Susan. I'm also not doing the warrior voice today because I think I'm like coming down or something, but I have like a semi sore throat, so I don't want to force it. I feel like if I do it, I'm going to start coughing. Oh, right. Alright, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'll just get 20. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Wait. Dirt. Oh, I don't have room for clay. I need to make another chest. And I'll put food in there. We'll just leave this for materials. Oh, right, I don't have the third row yet. I suppose this just counts as general forage, but I guess it's used to make food. Uh, that looks fine. Okay. <laughs> That's not food. That is clay. Hold on. Before I get told off. There you go. What 
do I even plant? That's the good question. Let's check bundles. What do I need to do? Okay, melons for quality crops. So then in that case, that settles it. I can only make eight. Okay. <laughs> I may have uh, underestimated things here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm short a few. Okay, I know what I can do. We're gonna rely on Aaron Jesus. To hopefully give some mixed seeds. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Not a single one. I might have to go back to that bridge and fish. Okay, come on. There has to be one seed here. There we go. One. Two. Good. Give me like another three and I'll be happy. Oh wait, you can get forage? There's also like a little bridge here. Oh, that's where the greenhouse is. Yeah, I haven't really explored this farm, to be honest. <laughs> I can't go any further. No, 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 this. Okay, let's go to the other side. I'm gonna waste today, again, aren't I? It's so much junk. Okay. I don't think I did too badly. I would have liked more, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Wait, there's even more here. Okay, there we go. That's five. Good, good. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, why? How did I do that? I got inside the 
the wood. Oh, right, I should be checking on this too. Yep. Gotta get into that habit. I mean, what would I even put up here? Okay. <laughs> One off, come on. Uh, I think I can find more outside. At least I think so. Why is this so clean? I... I thought there's usually... Yeah, see here. This is surprisingly clean. I guess I can go here, but I might regret it. I think this area is unfinished because it's just this wide... ...forest? I guess you just come here for wood, but... Not really a whole lot else here. Oh, hello, Mama Bear. Welcome. Except this. I'm not sure what this is. Like an abandoned building. Maybe someone moves in here or something eventually. Aurora Vineyard. Hmm. Come on, one more seed. One more seed. <laughs> one more seed, come on. There it is! Alright. And a bonus one. Sure. You're enjoying my Stardew Valley stream? Aw, oh, thank you, I appreciate that. Glad to hear it. <laughs> yeah, play the Final Fantasy fanfare music. Oh, right, Shane. If I, if I wasn't so afraid of coughing, I would give you, like, a warrior a yes. I played, huh? Here, have a cold one. Ugh, life. You ever feel like, no matter what you do, you're gonna fail? 
Like, you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep you can't even see the light of day. I just feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. Oh no. <laughs> That's gonna slow me down. Heh, <laughs> fast drinker, huh? Man after my own heart. Just don't make it a habit. You got a future ahead of you still. Well, my liver's begging me to stop. Better call it a night. See you around, warrior. <laughs> it's a good thing it's only 1040 and it wasn't later. Otherwise, uh, this might be problematic. You know what I just realized as well? since I got the new Switch to replace my old one. I realized that I can play Animal Crossing again, but like, with a new file and still keep my old file on the other Switch. Because that's one of those streams that I wish I still had the recordings of, but I just didn't have hard drive space at the time. Okay, we're good. So I might do that next year. I say next year, but that's really not that far away. That's a pretty scary thought. Uh, I mean, I feel like I need another chest. <laughs> One for presents now. Okay, let's just stick with food. That goes in there. Uh, I can move pine tar out of here and put it with this. I have some energy left, so I'm going to cut a tree or something. You know what, I'm just gonna clean this path up. Before I start the next day, I'm just gonna get some water out of the fridge. Um... Cause I feel like, yeah, my voice is a little scratchy. I hope I don't get sick. I, I really don't want to get sick. I'm one of the few people at work that hasn't gotten COVID. Like, I think everyone except four of us haven't gotten it. Or have got it, sorry. Oh, crap, I forgot. 2 a.m. Well, that was bound to happen at some point. I'm getting my water. Whilst, uh, Lewis fetches my body out of the ditch. It's also funny to see that you pass out, and then this is the first message you see when you wake up. There was an explosion. I blame the explosion, that's why I passed out. It wasn't because of neglect. Oh, this is Susan. Hello, I'm Susan, the owner of Emerald Farm at the Railroad. 
I've been trapped up there alone ever since Georgia caused the rock slide. So I've got a little bit of cabin fever. Happy to finally meet you, Oreo. Stop by and visit Emerald Farm when you have the time. I will, because it's new. Um, you're lucky I found you unconscious. Someone was searching your pockets. I have no idea how much money they took, but they ran away as, they, as I approached. Be careful. Yeah, here's the thing. I was broke anyway, so joke's on them. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I lost my... L okay. Hey, warrior. 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 This is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay you well. And I'm totally not going to le leave you more clues about my sex life, you know? Like, I, I, don't, I don't want to get caught because, you know, the thrill of getting caught is what keeps me going. I'm not going to leave you a second and a third clue as to what's going on, you know? I'm convinced that Lewis wants to get caught. Like, there's no way someone... Draw... Well, I don't know if he drew the note, but, like... He just does so much stuff that wants him to get caught. And that quest with the truffle oil and how he says it's for normal reasons. You don't have to say that. The moment you say that it's for normal reasons, it's clearly not for normal reasons. It just... It makes something innocuous just sound suspicious. Like, imagine you did that with everything. Hey, can you pass the ketchup? Sure. It's like, yeah, I'm totally going to use it for normal reasons. <laughs> That's just raises suspicion. Anyway. Hello, neighbor. Can I borrow a cup of sugar? Sure. Thanks. I'm gonna use it for normal reasons. Gee, it sure is going to be hot tomorrow. It's like, yeah, it's going to be hot. Yeah, are you going to go to the beach? Yeah, I'm going to go to the beach. Are you going, Lewis? Yeah, I'm totally going to the beach tomorrow for normal reasons. <laughs> that would creep you out. Yeah, the, the, the guy wants to get caught. He's doing things out in the open because he wants to get caught. There's like a bit of a thrill factor. Okay, uh, put bait in there, otherwise I'm going to forget. There we go. Okay, uh, let's go drop off bundle stuff first. So that. I need to go give Sophia a, a present. Apparently it doesn't matter. Oh, right. I guess I should take these. The first ones are always given away. Uh... Don't have enough slime, don't have enough wood. One of these, one of these. Do I have anything to take to Gunther? No, okay. 
And I'll get some... F no, I don't have enough for food. Okay, what am I going to do for food? I guess I can just eat these mushrooms. Alright, I'll eat the mushrooms. Ugh. Yeah, that water makes me feel better already. I guarantee there's nothing to be worried about now. But there is, Morris. Robin's house was struck by several rocks when the landslide was cleared. Susan was shocked by the blast. She wasn't informed of the operation and to... Everything's under control and we'll be fine, Mayor. And what of the garbage? Jojo jumps into the river, Morris. Willie, our local fisherman, says he's catching Jojo CDs and cola cans. Might I remind you, pursuant to in its R27.01 Jojo Co. Amendment, Jojo's operations here in Saudi Valley are fully compliant with the law. Ah, oh, hello, Wario. Oh, I, I was just on my way. Good day, Morris. This is pretty dystopian. JJ is paving a way to greatness in Stardew Valley. It's only a matter of time until we are all united under Joja. It's like some old horror movie. Like an alien invasion and they're all just becoming pod people. Wait, wrong way. Okay, there goes Weirdo. We'll see if she's here. Present. You're sweet, thanks. Gus has been a friend of my family since I was little. I like it when he comes to visit. Um... <laughs> I'm okay. What am I doing? I should, I should just eat these now. I'm tempting fate. Okay. Hi, taking the day off. What did you say? It's 11.40am already? My goodness. Yeah, don't- let's not talk about the time. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, a super cucumber for a burrito. I could maybe do that. I'll accept. Okay, uh, wait, why was this? No, it's not this. Do I have anything for here? Apparently not. It's this one. Okay. Well, that was quick. So I just need the maple syrup that's going to be in a few days and it's done. 
All right, cool. Oh, they got a new icon for that. Ten. Okay, that's pretty standard. Wheat flour. Okay, means I'm gonna have to make a mill. All right, the bundles aren't bad. I think I've got enough fairly easy. I'm gonna go try and progress in the mines. I think it's probably the best thing I can do for now. Oh no, wait. We should go see the new area. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'll probably go to the mines still, as I imagine there might not be anything to do there. Yeah, so what is this? Oh. Oh, I could have... <laughs> I could have just come here. Okay, so this is new. That's a really nice house. Okay, here she is. I'm thankful Joja cleared the rock slide. Lewis and I went through so much trouble getting them to remove the rocks. Joja refuses to apologize. I'm thankful Joja cleared the rocks. Oh, okay. Um, I, can I interest you in this? Oh, goodness, for me, thank you. Uh, I mean... Sometimes they provide stuff, I don't know. Like, Sophia sells sprinklers, so she might do something as well. Wait, there's more. A sword? Wait, really? <laughs> it's, a, I mean, it's not better than... That, okay, I mean... It's not better than what I have, but that's cool, I guess. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, loyal I got. You're too kind. I thought it was gonna be like Robin's lost axe. Like it belongs to someone, but nope, just... Free level 11 sword just lying there. Okay. I have to remember that it takes longer to get home now because of this. Right, what am I doing? Fingers crossed. Yes. I've had some pretty bad luck in the mines.
Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, wait, I should go ahead because minecart. I can't remember if I got this far. I may have gotten this far. Okay, that's another bundle item. Go away. Go away. Where is it? I don't have much energy left. Oh, come on. No. I was doing so well. I might not, I might not be able to get it. Ah! Do I have any? Okay, I have one mushroom left. Ah! Okay, come on. One more floor. Oh. Uh, hold on. Crab is vibrating furiously. Wants to get in my inventory. Uh, let me drop this. Not get rid of it. And then I'll set it off here. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> We're okay. Okay, that, that's enough. I'm gonna go to the spa. Wait. I'm gonna go to the spa. I'll recover some energy and then I'll cut some trees down. Every time I'm in the mines, that happens to me. I haven't had a single time where it doesn't get infested. Okay. It's fine. Okay, naked time. Well, not completely naked, but you know. Should be able to use most of this, and even if I don't, it's fine. <laughs> Purple swimsuit snazzy. Yeah, my character, I based it around Wario, so I like to think Wario has a 
purple swimsuit. Just every time I start a file, it was always a character loosely with my name. So I got tired of having a main menu with just my name in it, so I picked something different. Okay. Plus then it gives me an excuse to do the funny warrior voice from time to time. I think I may have underestimated how much time I have, but... Oh, I don't- I don't even have inventory space! Ah, uh, crap. I may have cut this tree down for nothing. <laughs> it's as bad as wasting food. I just cut cut down a tree, don't even intend on taking the resources. It's just like, nah. It's okay, when I put the crab in here, I'll have a spot, and then I'll be able to take it. I think. Oh no, I won't. Because <laughs> it's going to give me. Ah! Okay. Uh. Adventurer. Wait, die? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. No, now I have now I have space. Okay, it's fine. Walk back up, collect the wood. I think I can get home in time. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about the sap. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Do I need to put anything? No, okay. Go. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay. It is Jazz's birthday. My melons are growing like wildfire this year. Here's some extra seeds when I got when I popped a number of them in my seed maker. Don't go trying to compete with me for the melon market though. I'll win. There's a melon market? Oh, oh crap! <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I can, I can drop this. No, I can't drop it. Um, alright, the geode. It's one geode, it's fine. I need, <laughs> I need to get that backpack upgrade. Okay, what I'll do, I think I might double my efforts in money making. It might be boring, but... I think I kinda have to. Okay, uh, let me think. Take that out. I need to get animals as well. I, I I built the coop, but I haven't bought animals. OK, 
Okay, that's another bundle thing. Okay. The start of the season's always stressful, I don't know why, it's just... I feel like I'm just on the back foot constantly. sound obvious, but I'm pretty sure Jasmine likes blue jazz. I might be wrong. No, Fairy Rose. Fairy Rose is what she likes. It's Fairy Rose. I think I'll just give her a universal like. That'll do. Where is she? Wait, what? Oh, there she is, okay. Ah! <laughs> I can't go in there, right? No. Nah. Can't go do Mayor Lewis's dirty work. I don't know, I mean, you would think at some point Marnie would notice that Lewis's shorts are on the floor right there. It just leads me to believe that they, they just want to get caught. She could damn well take him over herself, but they've both come to this arrangement where they come to me. Yeah, yeah, get, get him... Get him to come get the shorts, then he might, he might think something and bust us later, yeah. I'm probably gonna turn them into golden shorts and just wear them. Birthday gift, that's very kind of you, I love it. Alright, cool. Now we're friends. She just called me a stranger, never mind. Exhibitionism is a thing, I guess. But why- why'd they have to rope me into it out of all people? Or have they gone around the town and done this with literally everyone and I'm the only person left they haven't done this to? Yep, I'm fresh meat. Okay. I suppose. I'll just say hi. I don't have a present. The view from the cliff is my favorite. The ocean goes all the way into the horizon. It seems like forever. I'd love to see what's on the other side one day. She seems happier.
Oh dear, my shoulders are filled with sand. Pet, pet the doggo. I hope that there's something here later as a result of petting the dog. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a huge step up from vanilla, but still. Dusty looks super happy, yeah. Instead of it being locked away and looking sad. Okay, we're getting somewhere. That'll be useful when I go into the mines later. For now, we'll just hang on to it. I think someone that's someone's favorite food as well, so. Oh, I've already given that anyway. Yep. <laughs> Always check the rich family's trash. It seems to give, uh, stuff. The saloon gets pretty lively at night. I like to visit once a week or so to catch up on things and to get a taste of Gus's authentic spaghetti. You would think that there's not a whole lot of difference between, like, a store-bought pasta and someone that's handmade it, but there is. I'm kind of spoiled. I live near the Italian district here in Melbourne, so... When I go get pasta at a restaurant, it's so good. It's not even a fancy restaurant either, like, just run-of-the-mill standard. There's so many of them. There's a whole street where you just go up it, and it's just Italian restaurant after Italian restaurant, so... Price is pretty cheap. I can't get a- like, I appreciate that they add new content to this, but not only is- does this fish just look ridiculous, but it's just worth too much money. I think they need to make this river just have more different kinds of fish. Hang on, I'm gonna be greedy. Oh, looks like it can have more fit. Last season it was just those three, but now there's a rainbow trout here. I think rainbow trout is the one used in trout soup, so... It's probably a good idea to get a stockpile of them. Pike, okay. Maybe it's just springtime that this fishing spot seems to be a bit busted. This seems normal now. Level up. Oh, no. Don't. Okay, 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 okay. Why is this a thing? 
I want to see how it looks like in a fish tank, but it's just too expensive to buy the fish tank. Ah, oh, uh, nah, nah, gone. I guess if I catch two to three of them, it's still worth it. Okay, so since I'm going to be purchasing an animal, I need a name for the chicken. Assuming I don't have enough for two. Oh. oh. Stop, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ugh. I have to focus so hard when the, those dogfish come up. It hurts my eyes a little after a while. <sighs> uh, uh, nah. <laughs> Just imagine... Willie coming to this bridge to relax, and then just this dude on the bridge going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> like an idiot. Oh, this is like the same tier as Legendary, I'm convinced. It's like the octopus. The octopus doesn't have a Legendary fish icon, but it behaves like one. Fish, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on! In Australia, we have we had this uh, TV personality in the '90s called Rex Hunt, and his whole thing, um, he would always catch a fish and then kiss it and let it go. I don't know why that just came to mind, but one of his sayings was probably one of the most Australian things I've heard. It was just literal gibberish. But he would sign off from his show and he'd be like, Oh, this is Rex Hunt and I'll see you on another fishing adventure. Yibbidi yibbida. Yibbidi yibbidi yib. That's all, folks. Like, it was practically that. But just yibbidi yibbida. Oh, 
Oh, crikey, we might have the legendary butterfish on the line. Let's see if we can reel him in, yeah? Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. 15 inches. Now, we give it a kiss and throw it back. Yibbity yibbida. Uh. Okay, excellent. That's easily a thousand made. I think one... Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, nah. Oh. Oh, ah. Damn it. One more. Thought I held on. Okay, this is... Is it a butterfish? It might be. No. Okay, one, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. I can do this, one more. Okay, no, that's it. I'm still being somewhat antisocial here. I should probably talk to more of the townspeople and give them presents so we can see their cutscenes. But I, I just want to be set up so then things are running smoothly. I wonder how many customers JoJo will gain this year. My family grows larger every season. Okay, dude. Classic corporate dude claiming people a family. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is this is just absurd. <laughs> Seven fish, three thousand like it, it's it's so it's so strong. I'll keep one. Always keep one of each fish. I need another chest. Okay. Uh, probably the wrong time to do this. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's not do that today. Okay. <laughs> That's way too much money, but I guess it's it's only strong at the start and later on. You can probably outdo it with farming or anything else. Okay. I think I'll make this my last day, as I should probably look at getting sleep, but, eh. Uh, I just didn't want to leave things up in the air with... ...this chest and getting animals. I'll move fish to this one.
Eventually these will go to the fridge, but for now... I don't need five herring. <laughs> Just one. Good. Uh, hang on. Which one is it? This one. Wait, what? Oh, so I haven't completely sorted this one out. Yeah, that'll do. Um, that doesn't count as fish. Alright. Um, these are presents to some degree. I should really have just a dedicated chest for tools as well, but that'll probably be the last one I get. I keep... Oh, wait, it's on me. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I keep misplacing my tools. Okay, what should I name the chicken? Or chickens, I should say. I mean, I guess I could go with the ones that the game generates, but I don't know. One of my favorite chicken dishes. That's a bit dark. <laughs> Nugget is a nice name for chicken. Yeah, I mean, th that's that can be a, uh, a loving name. Like I would feel I would feel bad if I called Walt one of them fried. <laughs> fried Fred. I could call one red. <laughs> but that's like after the chain here. Just something funny. I mean, Nugget's not bad, but I'll probably go with Nugget. Like naming my pig Chris P. Bacon. That's clever. That's- that's not intent on, uh, like, naming it food. That's- it's clever. Like, Crispy Bacon and Kevin Bacon. But you can't really do the same with chicken, can you? Um... Okay, I will pet you. Just give me a sec. I need to... There we go. Yeah, no, I like Nugget. Nugget's fine. But I'll probably buy two, so you know. 
Uh, okay, how many was in the bundle? That's what I want to know. Which one was it? I don't remember. Wasn't Artisan, wasn't Quality, wasn't Summer. I think it was Crafts Room, potentially. Or maybe here. Fodder, 10. Okay, so I need 10, a stack of 10 of... And I need to make wheat flour, so I need to hang on to the stuff. Whoops. Um, yeah. Okay, for now that'll do. I need to also buy food for them, so that's the other thing. I should probably set up a silo. Um... Supplies shop. No, hang on. Purchase animals. Okay. We'll go with Nugget. Trato. What is that name? Tratozi? Okay, Nugget. Okay, uh. How much money do I. Okay, I can go with two. Two is enough, I think. <laughs> what are the names? Bota, Chussy. I hate that name. Guru Guru. Wombus. Pricely. Rover. I'm sorry, that's a dog's name. Sacho. Prungus. These are horrible. Snack. Sna! Sna! Shoot. Locker. They're messing with me, right? Like, lockers. Wasli. Tatsa. Choku. Okay, see. See, this one. <laughs> this one is the closest. Kanoni. Katsu. Oh, de okay. Stewie's good. I'll go with that. Though, I think I might name the other one Katsu. Like, Chicken Katsu. But, yeah. Since... We'll go with the suggestion. I'll probably get more, but the next one's gonna be called Katsu, for sure. Okay. Um... Look, I'll, I'll get enough for now. But I want to hopefully replace with, uh... What the heck was snap? Like... Okay, let me just... I'm out of curiosity. Sna... Name. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, the name Sna... S-N-E... Is a girl's name. And its popularity in 2017 was 20,943. So it's a- it's a name. It means snow. Yeah, no, okay. I mean... Interesting. There you go, I learned something. But I'm sure it's not pronounced the way I'm pronouncing it. Like, just making it sound like a bodily noise, like, SNAH! Like, I got something stuck in my throat. SNAH! <laughs> SNAH! Uh, okay. That was... F game locked up for a sec there. It's okay. It's fine. Got worried. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Okay, I need to check the traveling merchant. 
And then I'm gonna see if I can get a silo going. Which is just clay and stone from memory. I think I need a copper bar, potentially. We'll see. I was too busy making noises to notice what I was doing. Okay, we do have copper we can use. I'll just do this just in case. Okay. Uh, Alright, let me look this up. Silo. Five copper bars, a hundred stone, ten clay. Um. Uh-oh. Well, the clay is going to be the problem. No, wait, no, it's not. Okay. Then we just need the copper bars and we're good. I suppose I'll put it here with mining. I have enough to do this, so I'll just go check the traveling merchant. It's gonna save me money, though. I don't have to rely on money to, um, get food for them. Snack. <laughs> I can't help myself. Uh, yeah, but I can get that myself later. I need to buy this at some point, but not yet. It's too early. Okay. I'm watching this carefully, making sure that nothing bad happens to that. Okay, so it was a hundred stone, ten clay. Then the bars. Okay. I suppose I should put that there. Oh, no, but I'm gonna put it back anyway. Uh, this can go in here, because it's food. Alright, we're organized. Oh, no. I've got to hurry up. <laughs> Please hurry up. So I hope she does she doesn't close at four. Oh crap, I accidentally. Okay, just do this. Split stack. There we go. Okay. No, I didn't even put this back. <laughs> come on, 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 come on. Ten. Okay, there. Go, 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 go. Oh, I hope she closes at five. <laughs> Please close at five. Ah, <laughs> she's gone. Okay, well that's not happening today. Yeah, I, I should have considered this sooner, but it's okay. Um, the chickens have food, so it's fine. 
Everyone's going to the bar, that's why. Alright, well, I think you know what time it is. Um, wait a minute, is Gunther still open? 30 seconds. Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> I usually just leave them in there because it's just, it's just more stuff I have to store. Why is shorts in quotation marks? I've never noticed this before, but this just, this just makes this a lot worse. What does he do with his shorts, then? Why is it- Why is it in quotation marks? Like, they're not his shorts, or he doesn't use them as shorts? What's- what's the deal? Oh, hello there, young farmer. I was wondering... If you could do me a favor. Oh, sure. What is it, Lewis? It's like, you see, I seem to be in a bit of a pickle. I accidentally left my shorts <laughs> at Marnie's. Could you go get my shorts? Why are you putting quotation marks around shorts? Oh, no reason. I just use these shorts for a perfectly normal reason. Why are you saying it's a perfectly normal reason? Well, they're just normal shorts. Stop putting quotation marks around the word shorts. The guy talks like as if he's trying to sell you a contract to something, and he's just talking in fine print. Sounds better than undershorts. Yeah, true. Well, I mean, it's better than sex pants or sex shorts. Maybe it's lingerie and he just doesn't want to say he wears lingerie and he calls it shorts. Like, he's ashamed that he wears lingerie. So he, he calls them shorts, but really it's lingerie. It's alright, Lewis. You don't have to be ashamed. I'm not going to kink shame you. Quite clearly these are not shorts, sir. I can't- I can't believe I've never noticed that, like... Why do they put the word shorts in quotations? Oh, hello HCN Lovecat, how's it going? Also, thank you for the follow, Mama Bear, appreciate it. This is the stuff that I think about past midnight, just... The intricacies of Lewis and his shorts. Hey, stop. S still. Don't, don't move. Stop. 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 Please. <laughs> Wait. No. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, 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 okay. I hate, I hate this fish. <laughs> I hate... I hate this fish. 
It just makes me so tired catching it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, and thank you for the follow as well. Yeah, I think tomorrow I'm gonna drink some tea. I'm hoping my voice doesn't give out. Okay, okay. There we go. As long as I catch a couple, it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, the fish on this bridge are- they're all a struggle. They're basically legendary fish. They just jump around everywhere, but they're worth it. They're worth quite a bit of money if you can get them. It's just- it's, it's late here in Australia, so... Eyes are tired a little. <laughs> have to focus so hard, and it's just moving up and down so much. <laughs> okay. I mean, there are other fish in, in Stardew that do this, like the octopus comes to mind. And the, uh... The one in the, the desert, the poison fish. I forget what it's called. Okay, stop. Stop. That's it. <laughs> stop. <laughs> come on. No, come on. Okay. I think two more and then uh, I'm good. I at least made some money today. It's okay, it'll get easier once I get the better fishing rod and I can use like a, a trap bobber or something. Okay, 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 go, stay there, stay there, don't move. <laughs> is this a fresh save? Yeah, this is the first time I'm playing, uh, with mods. I usually play Stardew every year for Christmas, so it's become a bit of a tradition here. And this year I figured, uh, play with mods, I've never done it before. So, let's... First few days of summer. First year. Stardew Christmas. Yeah, pretty much. It's just a nice way to kick back and relax. But yeah, I've sunk a lot of time into this game. It's up there as far as uh, games with the most playtime for me. Okay, there we go. Good enough. Do I have a mod list? Uh, before I wrap up, I can show it. Do I have a command for it? No, because this is like a... It's kind of a spur of the moment thing. Okay, I can definitely do that. I'm wrapping up anyway, as it's like 
just about to be 3 a.m. here, so I need I need to get some sleep. Okay. Sure thing, Mr. Corporation. Alright, uh... I'll just hang on to one of them, just in case. And I'll keep this in my inventory, so it reminds me next time that I'm gonna make a... Silo. I just couldn't today because unfortunately Robin wasn't there, so. But I have the resources to do so. Um, I can't remember if I loaded the crab pots. I have 20 seconds, so I can do it. I didn't, okay. Okay, we're fine. Yep, alright, all good. Christmas break kinda sucks, cause you wanna do something school related, what do you mean by that? I mean, you can always do stuff outside of school, I used to. Uh, I mean, I used to go and uh, learn graphic design stuff, so I used to teach myself Photoshop. Um, and coding, like I learned coding as well, just during school break when I was a kid. Alright, let's save it. And we're done. You knew I was a graphic designer, the profile says it all. Yeah, I'm a bit of everything. I mean, I've done graphic design as a job and for a while, programming. But my job now is like a bit of everything. I, uh, I do everything. Anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to leave it for tonight. But before I do, that's the mod list for anyone interesting. You can find these on... I forget the name of the website, but you know where to find them. Um, Nexus mods. My brain is gone, in case it wasn't obvious. So, screenshot it, whatever you want to do. Uh, that's what I'm using. I got some help from my friend Kat. She recommended these, so that's what I'm using. A lot of them have configuration settings where you can pick the style of what you want. Particularly the uh, L mods. So... Yeah, that's what I have. Some of the, like, some of these are just prerequisites. They don't really do anything, right? It's just, you have to have these installed, but. Okay. That's gonna do it for tonight, chat. It was a bit of a longer stream. But I appreciate you all hanging out, so. Yeah. I want to thank you and hope you enjoy the rest of your day.